Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Spagaver Backpacking, and one of my favorite things to talk about is coffee. Yeah, of course backpacking, but not getting out doing many trips right now with everything else going on. And so, I wanted to talk to you guys about a product that was sent to me. This is the Kohi Press by Kohi Plus, and uh, cool, cool, well-designed piece of coffee gear. Uh, everyone knows I am really into coffee, and so, this is just another accessory that I can use and it has its place, it has its way of being used. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to talk about how to use it, where I think it fits, and how to get the most out of it. So let's get right into this. All right, so in order to do this, I've got my Spagaver Stove 2, which uh, I just recently redesigned. I'll be doing some videos on that soon. We'll get that started up. And the cool thing about it is it comes to a bloom really, really quick. It's already to a bloom. I've got my water on. So any good coffee, a good cup of coffee starts with great beans. And so what I've got here are some Ethiopian Yergacheffi beans that I picked up while I was in Africa. Um, great beans produce a really good cup of coffee. And we're gonna grind them up here by hand. But one of the things I wanted to show is a tip for really making sure that you don't get that, that static cling in your grinder and so what I do is I take two two pieces of uh, or two fingers dip them in my water and then just kind of put it in the beans then I take those beans and I drop them right into my grinder if I can get the top off so throw them right into the grinder and you'll have a couple that may stick in the bowl that you're using just because they were wet just get them out put them in there and then we'll grind them up Now I'm using the Onesie Presso JX grinder, and this thing is great. It's got a 46 or 48 millimeter uh, conical burr in there. It's all stainless steel. It has bearings both on the top and the bottom, which keep it really, really secure and make it spin really smooth. So a quick grind. I'll show you guys what type of uh, grind setting I'm using for this. So here are the grinds that I'm actually using. If I put some on my hand, you can see they're uh, they're fairly coarse, more like what you would do with a French press, the coarse type grind. So now that I have my coffee ground, I've got the water on right now, let's take a look at what the Kohi press is. So it is a travel mug. So it's got a travel lid on there, works really well, seals it off, open it up. You've got a pretty good little spot there to drink out of. You can take that off and you can see the reservoir inside. But what's cool is it's got a second ring that if you grab that and unscrew it, make sure that the top's open so you aren't creating a vacuum seal in there, but you can pull the sleeve out and you have your double walled stainless insulated mug and then you have the actual brewing piece. And so it's got a really nice fine filter down here on the bottom that really cleans out a lot of the sediment. It does a really good job of cleaning out the sediment. And you can open it up, you can take the seals out, clean the seals, put them back in. But the cool thing about this is this has almost like a little porta filter here that has pressure. And so only when pressure is placed on here does the coffee actually go through the filter. So as you're pressing down, that's where it creates the, the pressure to actually filter the coffee. And what that allows is once you're done filtering the coffee, <laughs> as I throw this around, once you're done filtering the coffee, you've pressed down. So the way it works, you put the coffee in here, you put the water in, you stir it up, you press down, and it works like a French press. You screw it together, and then you can drink out of there. Now you can leave it in here all day long, and it's not gonna continue to, uh, to brew. You're not gonna get any bitter taste. It just works. And it's because of that porta filter piece in there that keeps it like that, that really keeps it uh, segregated. The, the drinking coffee and the brewed stuff are completely separate the whole time. I have left it in here for three, four hours and still had it super hot. Now, if you preheat this, if you put hot water in it before you actually brew, it's going to keep it hot even longer. So, why don't we go ahead and brew up some coffee? Okay, so the water is almost to the right temperature. I've got my ground coffee. I have taken the inner sleeve out of the Kohi press. 
Just gonna take my grinds and dump them right inside. Nothing special about that, just dumping them in. And you can see at the bottom of my grinder, because I had put a little bit of water on there, uh, the static doesn't keep it in there, and most of, almost all the coffee comes out when you dump it, which is, is the advantage of doing that. Okay, looks like we've got water that's, yeah, it's, it's hot, it's right where I want it. I don't want it quite to a boil. If it had come to a boil, I'd let it sit for a little bit longer. Ooh, that's warm. Get this water, dump it in. Now, I like to turn it as I'm pouring it in, just to kind of get all the coffee grounds wet there. And there is a max line that is right about here that it says not to fill it above. I like to go about a half inch or a few centimeters below that just to give it room. Uh, when the coffee, especially fresh coffee, it will bloom and so it'll come to the top. It'll actually expand a bit and it'll bubble and kind of churn on its own. So I let to, I'll let this sit now for a couple of minutes to let that bloom really happen and let it take effect and then I'm going to stir it. All right, so now that it has set for a little bit, I've got the spoon that comes with it. It's a nice long plastic spoon. Um, so I'll put that in there and just kind of stir it up. I like to give it a good stir, make sure that those grounds are all really wet and spread throughout. Give it a good stir, knock it off, and just kind of set that spoon to the side. Now I'm gonna let it sit, and this is the hard part, for about three more minutes. And that's what what really allows this to work well is it lets those grinds settle back to the bottom and so it doesn't take a lot of pressure to push it down. If you don't wait too long, if you don't wait long enough, or you're using too fine of a grind, you'll find that when you put this in and you push, you get a lot of resistance and so you have to push with even more pressure and occasionally what will happen is the coffee will come past these seals and come up out over the outside. So you want to let it wait, let that settle, give it a little bit of time and then do it. Now if during this time you're worried about this getting cold, if you had preheated it, that's going to keep that from happening or you can just go until that seal is in there. You can actually seal the top if you want just to keep a little bit of a seal on there, a little bit of a cap to keep that warmth in. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right now it has had a chance to sit and all those grounds should have fallen and you've brewed at this point what should be a really good cup of coffee. Now if you've done this and you've kind of capped it to keep it warm, make sure that before you push down, you open the lid back up. Or you can take this entire top piece completely off to really keep there from being any pressure in there. Whichever way you choose to do it is fine. Just make sure that that cap is not closed, otherwise you're creating a huge vacuum, and then it will come past that, uh, that seal, and it'll end up coming out, and you don't want that. So now that it's sat, you just apply a little bit of pressure and push it down. Now it's a lot like a, a French press, so all the grounds are gonna sit to the bottom, and you're just kind of pushing past it. So not a ton of pressure, not a ton of pressure at all, just pushing it down. Now as you get towards the bottom and you get where you're, you're really at the grounds, you're gonna need a little bit more pressure, but nothing, I mean I can do it one hand, no problem sitting here talking with you guys. So now you'll get it down to this point, and you screw it in, and right now I've got a nice beautiful pot of coffee here. Pour this in. So today I chose to pour my coffee into a mug uh, so that I could just enjoy it while talking with you guys. It's a good cup of coffee. Like I said before, the beans and the grind make a huge difference. Freshly ground and a good quality bean. Um, whatever you like. I mean, it, it's really, this is your coffee. You make it how you like. Man, that's a delicious cup of coffee. But, so I poured it in here. You didn't have to. You could have left this cap on here and just drank it straight out of this bottle. No problem at all. Now here's where I think this is cool. You could do this real quick, like six minutes, as soon as you get the water coming to, to temperature, like six minutes, press it, close it, on your way to work, you're drinking out of this. I've done that a lot of mornings now. I have really uh, grown to, to like this, and then I do the AeroPress once I'm at work and I have a little bit more time. 
but this is really good to just sip on as you're driving to work uh, it's pretty spill proof close it I mean I could turn it upside down nothing's gonna come out of it uh, cleanup isn't too bad you just unscrew and take that like I should like I talked about if you don't open that up it creates a vacuum now I can pull it pull it out no problem but if I was to close that again it it's in there once you open it now it'll come out um, the, the actual filter part stays relatively clean as long as you've good, used good grounds, uh, the right size. And then the bottom kind of has a slurry in there that you can pour out. Kind of swish it up, pour it out, rinse it out, and you'll be fine to go. Now, here's where I think it would work really good for someone out on a trip. So you're out on a backpacking trip. Uh, this granite is a little bit heavier, but it is a, it's a thermos and it's a coffee maker. So it's kind of a dual duty thing that I think a lot of people would enjoy. A lot of people are already taking thermos type things out on the trail. So I think adding this isn't gonna add too much weight to what you're doing and it adds some functionality. So I just made up this cup of coffee. I'm sitting around camp enjoying it. At the same time, I throw a little bit more water on the stove, clean this out, throw some new grinds in there, do this up, leave it closed, throw it in my backpack, if you're the type of person that likes to do a cup of coffee in the morning and then several miles down the trail stop and brew up another cup of coffee, well here's the great part. You can do it all while you're sitting in camp and have that hot, perfect cup of coffee waiting for you when you take that stop without having to dig out your stove, without having to get water filtered, without having to do all that. You've got it here, ready to go. And especially, so if you're on a trail that's it's semi dry and you're worried about it but you had water at camp you're not gonna have to carry water to filter or to use for your your coffee you've got a second cup of coffee already ready you can filter before you hit the trail and now you've got full water and coffee and that's what it's all about getting out there enjoying it having a great cup of coffee on the trail and this is another tool that could help you do that so uh, guys I've been, I've been having fun with this. I've been taking it to work. I've been using it quite a bit and it does produce a great cup of coffee. It is very much a, a French press coffee. So a little bit thicker, more uh, coarse grind is, is what should work best for it. Um, you will have a little bit more of the oils on top of your coffee and you will have a slight amount of sludge in the bottom not a lot and it's the it's the very fines that are in there the uh, the stuff that gets extracted from the coffee ground that's a little bit soluble sinks back to the bottom what I do is as I get back to the bottom of the cup of coffee I just swish it around and drink it all together and then uh, I'm ready to go for another cup so guys if you're interested in coffee like coffee check it out this is the Kohi plus Kohi press it is a a nice nice portable travel coffee maker. I'll see you guys down the trail.